Thailand has been dubbed as a multicultural country, but it is hard to say that there is no racism in this country. Racism or discrimination against race is different in each country as it is varied by forms and degree of aggressiveness. According to National Statistical Office of Thailand, more than 95% of 66 million populations are Buddhist, which makes Thai Buddhists the majority, and the rest are considered the minorities. So, to describe racism in Thailand, we conducted interviews with both Thais and foreigners in Chulalongkorn University, asking them in many topics, including Farang or Westerners, Kek or Indians or Arabians, Rural Thais or Thais from different regions except Bangkok, and Thai Muslims in the South. Now, let's see what minorities or non-Thais will say about racism in Thailand. How many black men have you had as a teacher? Or women? No. None. They have a really hard time getting a job here. In Thailand? In Thailand. Even if they're African-American, completely fluent in English, have the, have the necessary education. But when they come over here, they, they, some have, uh, have some problems. Everybody's racist. If you're not racist, then you haven't traveled enough. If it's used in nationalistic rhetoric, then I don't like it, okay? But generally, I think 90% of the time it's fine. And when I go to national parks, where sometimes a foreigner will pay twice as much, I use my Ajahn card, my Rechikan, so I pay the same as Thai. Well, if they tend to be wearing certain image late at night and lots of lipstick, then <laughs> yeah, I, I am biased towards thinking they are a prostitute. Mm. You know, you know. I mean, if girls go, but not necessarily. I mean, but in those areas, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think it exists everywhere. It's difficult to make a comparison, right? I think in Thailand, yes, Thai people are tolerant, right? I know it's a bit of a stereotype itself, but it's true, right? Generally, it is more of a tolerant society if you compare it to Japan or Korea, which I think are far more xenophobic societies. But um, comparing it to Britain is difficult because Britain has a multiculturalism, you know what I mean? We've got a whole history of, of the empire and people coming from many countries, and, you know, which is part of the reason I'm here, right? Falun. Okay, yeah, I have just been called Falun a few days ago when I was going to the van. So the lady approached me and said Falun just to tell me where is the van. So I guess people don't think of it when they say it. So I don't think you guys are normal. Normal people on the street don't really realize it could be offensive. So I don't think they mean it. So as long as I know they don't mean it, so I'm fine with it. In my opinion, it makes sense. Otherwise, if we charge foreigner the same as as Thai, you have to you have to have the equivalent economy, the equivalent salary. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah I, I have actually a friend from Singapore who came to visit, and and she experienced some. I mean, it's not really in a harsh. I'm not sure how harsh is harsh. See, okay, that's a very icky issue. You have to realize, um, Thailand, a lot of people, the media, outside, doesn't really portray Thailand this way. But if you look at it, most of the foreigners that go to Pattaya or go to here, they go for a reason, or they come, or those people who, who, who harass the woman, they came for a certain reason of tourism. They don't represent most of the tourism. Actually, most of the people come to Thailand for two main reasons. Shopping, go to the beaches, and because of actually food. They like the environment, tropical environment. There is a small percentage of foreigners who come for the, the, the inappropriate reasons. I wouldn't say racism, because the word racism means you are against, or you are actually putting something discriminative. 
here in Thailand, you guys, I mean, it looks like you have a racism. You, it looks like it. But if you look at the core of it, you really don't even realize what is it. I mean, I, and I, according to my opinion, most of the differences or the most of the barriers being put between foreigners and Thai are more economical barrier, part of it stereotyping. So, I, my opinion, I don't think there is a racism in Thailand. Thai people distinguish between black and white, clearly. Uh, they feel uncomfortable among, but definitely they do. I've been approached in a negative way and I just ignore it. I, again, the reason is that even in my home country they do it. So it's very difficult to really measure that in the sense that Thai people generally appear to be uh, to pretend to be shy. They are not shy. They pretend to be shy. Sometimes my friends call me like cat or bomb. But it's not as in a mm, it's more like a term of you know we're used to it. So it's like okay it's kinda like a racist joke if you know what I mean but they're not generally racist in nature. Then let's see what majority Thais think about racism in Thailand. ก็เลยสวยความรู้สึกก็จะนึกคิดไปเองแต่ยังไม่ได้ยังไม่ได้ค่อยคุยหรือเข้าไปถามจะมีความรู้สึกว่าเค้าจะจนแล้วก็มี